Century Tea Outdoors, and I decided to take uh, Stephen, Lenny, and Mark up on the invitation to show what's in my EXO for 2018. So I want to show you what a three to four day pack is going to look like for me. Uh, I'm going to start out with the pack. Again, it's my favorite pack. It's the EXO Mountain Gear. This is a 2018. Uh, going with the Multicam, it's a 3500, which gets gives me plenty of room. Um, for three to four, even five, six days, just depending on how light I really want to go. And let's just start out. Um, I typically, what I'm using to kind of organize is the Kafaru ultralight bags. And I like these things. They're not considered waterproof, but I've never had anything internally get wet. This is what's called my kill kit. So I keep three to four game bags in there. I keep a Havilon knife, which is the razor blade knife, so I can interchange or switch out the blades. Uh, some paracord as well so I can hang quarters if I need to strip down the meat and uh, debone the elk. Uh, we've got a tradition I also kept or keep some uh, seasoning so usually on a kill side if it's late and, and we're hungry we've been out we'll typically cut up a tenderloin. So that's what's in a kill kit is really some paracord, the seasoning, Havilon knife and the game bags. I also throw in there two or three wow. garbage bags um, for various reasons. I like to put the meat on those garbage bags after I'm uh, dressing the elk out. I can keep it out of the debris, out of the pine needles and the grass and what have you. It also can work as serving, you know, as keeping your pack cleaner. Um, once I put the meat in the game bag, I can put it in the garbage bag just until I can get it back to where I can hang it and dry it out and let it set up. Uh, the next is my meal kit. So what I typically do, I like to plan out my days and I'll put a meal kit that's going to each day is basically going to have a mill kit with a mountain house. Um, I want to show you some of the different bars that we use. This is a, called a Pro Bar, uh, protein bar. They're based out of Salt Lake City. It's a great bar. Uh, this is called the Super Slam Mill. And you're going to get probably, I think, about 12 grams of protein out of that. But it's a great bar. Not promoting it too much, but it is really, um, you just have to find what works for you. I also keep in there some different granola bars, some dried fruit and nuts. So this right here is basically for two days, and that's weighing about a pound and a half. So if I'm going in three days, I just double this up, and I keep that in the Kafari Ultralight. This is a first aid kit. I combine the first aid kit with some wipes, disinfectant, some gauze pads, some super glue in case we have a cut. I also use what's called Laco tape. The Laco tape is very strong and durable. If you have a, a strong cut, a deep cut or what have you, that Laco tape with some super glue will seal it up. I keep the toilet paper in there and some hand wipes as well. And that goes in an ultralight bag. Again, we're gonna be filming back country. Um, what, I, what I carry is basically, a. have moved to the anchor system, an anchor power bank. I believe it's the 3000 um, power bank. That'll give me uh, basically four iPhone charges so if I'm using the Onyx Maps, I've got four charges with my iPhone um, with an Anchor power bank. I did not bring that with me, but I, what I did bring is the Anchor sol solar panel. And you can get these off of Amazon. I picked this one up. Um, it was roughly $60, $70. I, I, I'm sticking with the Anchor just because it'll, it'll power, basically if my phone's down to 10%, in good sunlight, this is going to charge that phone up in literally about an hour, hour and a half. It is that fast. Um, I, I, you know, as, as much as we're going through camera batteries, we're using the Sony A6000 and A7000 this year, and they drain batteries very quick on video. So we need a solar panel and a couple power banks in the back country. As far as my cook system goes, um, I've always stuck with this jet boil. It's the Soul, and it's, Basically, I'm going in three days. I'm just using one small fuel canister. Uh, that'll get me three to four days easily, uh, a couple meals a day. And so I, I don't need to pack an extra fuel canister. I can just get the one will take care of me for the, the time I'm in there. My water system, this year I switched. I used to use a pump, um, the Catadyne, and I switched this year to the Platypus uh, Gravity and in a three liter, three liter bladder. This, um, I'm gonna give it a shot this year. I watched a friend use it last year. It's very lightweight. It's, I believe the ounces on this is only around eight or nine ounces. 
and it will filter a liter of water. I can fill up a three liter bag in just a couple of minutes. And so if I have this bag, three liter bag, plus another three liter bag, um, plus the dirty bag that I fill water in, it'll give me basically six liters. I can hang one at camp if I have a base camp and keep one with me as I'm out hunting and stocking. Again, that's the platypus. Um, gravity. As far as optics, when we're going in for elk, um, I leave the Vortex Razor uh, 85 at home. It's a little on the heavy side. I wish I had it once I'm out there in the field. But I pack this little Minox uh, 50 millimeter. It is just over a pound. Um, and it does what I need in the backcountry. When I'm, we're archery hunting elk, um, we're really in any bull unit. And so if it's a legal bull, we can tell he has antlers. You can usually get on it with a 50 millimeter. Um, I also pack a Vortex 10 by 42 um, set of binoculars and also the Ranger 1500 uh, as far as ranging when we're out there hunting elk. Sleep system. Uh, I've got a couple of different options. Um, I'm a pillow guy and I tried this last year. It's a Sea to Summit Eros pillow. That thing only weighs I think three ounces and it's got a felt um, lining around the outside so you're not laying on the plastic and you're not getting all the, the sounds when it's rubbing against the floor or your pad. Awesome pillow. Again, it's the Sea to Summit Eros pillow. I got the larger size. Um, I have to have a pillow or I just don't sleep comfy. This is my uh, first year using. I moved into a, an insulated pad. I was just getting too cold in the back country. This is a um, Nemo. It's the Tenzer. And of course, I, I, my comfort's huge. I got the wide and the long as well. So this is a pound five ounces. It is a 76 long by 25. Three inches. It is very comfortable. I've had it out three times already and um, I don't see myself moving anywhere else. Again, it's a pound and a half, about the size of a Nalgene bottle. And it is a Nemo. It's very quiet is what I like about it as well. So when it's in the tent, um, on, the, on the floor of the tent, it's not uh, putting off a lot of sound. As far as the, the sleeping bags go, or the quilts, if you will, I've been using this little, and I'm going to try to pronounce it right. I picked it up off Amazon. It's called the um, Agus Max. It is literally one pound or just under a pound. It's a 40 degree quilt with a middle zipper. And again, that's the size. You can see just a little bigger than that jet boil. Um, I use this basically up until the end of September. If, it, if I do have this and it's getting cold, have some cold nights, I just keep my merino on and uh, it gives me the extra insulation. When I'm going in somewhere and I know it's bad weather um, and I get cold easily, I use a, again this is double the weight, this is a Cosmic uh, by Kelty. It's a zero degree down, 800 fill. It's heavy, it's just over two pounds, about two pounds, three ounces I believe. But if I'm going into a October hunt, um, into November, um, or it's going to be a very cold September, I will definitely take the extra, I don't know what you want to call it, 18 to 20 ounces um, so I can sleep warm and comfortable at night. But again, you know, in the 35 pound range with a few days of food, um, I'm going the one pound here. As far as trekkers, I started picking up trekking poles or using them a couple of years ago. I just used an aluminum black diamond. Uh, they're fairly lightweight. These are very durable. I couldn't tell you which ones they are, but um, I've got a buddy that runs the ones, the, the trekking poles from Costco that are $30 and they're a carbon and he's beat them up and they tend to work. I would highly encourage trekkers if you're not using them, uh, especially the weight. Um, what I've, I've learned the hard way, just a personal story is I've torn both meniscus in my knees from excess weight and not using the trekkers to balance right. So uh, take it from somebody who's kind of beat up their knees without using trekking poles. Uh, it's the tripod I'm using, um, I had a carbon, lost it, wasn't going to uh, spend the money to get back into one. This is a slick Sprint Pro 2, it's aluminum and it, it's under a couple of pounds but it does everything I need and uh, I, it's, I can put that the camera on there. Um, I can use it as a, you know, a selfie stick or what have you. can also use it as a monopod and it works extremely well. Uh, not Never leaving home without my bugle as well. Um, 
It's a very big bugle, but I love the, the Phelps bugle tube, and that goes with me on every elk hunt. Great locator, and uh, it puts out the sound. Yes, bulky, but it works. As far as clothing, um, I, I really like the First Light product. I am still using the Uncompadre Puffy. I just go with the dry earth, and it, I'll tell you what, it repels water, it keeps me warm, it does make a good pillow. This always sits in my uh, puffy pocket in the front of my pack, and uh, quick access, so in the mornings I can take it in and out. Uh, as far as the pants, I've stuck with the Canabs, and going with the Fusion. They fit really well, they keep you warm, they dry out, they don't collect the scent. As far as my top, I love the Chama hoodie. It's a good mid-weight. I get the hood in the mornings, in the evenings, and again, with the merino wool, it's not collecting the scent. It dries out well, keeps you warm. I never leave home with, without the rain jacket. This is a first light. I believe the storm tight, and it's in a solid color as well. Um, I just have to have it. We get some thunderstorms out on the book cliffs, and when we hunt Colorado, and those thunderstorms can be brutal, and I'm always glad I had that storm tight with me. As far as my boots, I am using uh, my third year of the um, Crispy Idaho's, and they I beat them up. They're a non-insulate with the Cordura finish, a little bit of leather on there, but they've really done the job for me. Um, I beat them up. You can look at them. That's three years, and they've easily got well over 150 miles on them. Uh, a nice thin wool sock in there and I'm set and one thing I am missing I'm gonna grab it so excuse me this is obviously my shelter and I am running the I run the seat house 3 I've got two of these it's the seat house 3 super light um, from Big Agnes and I've got this in a 2 and a 3 now if there's two of us going in I take the 3 it Right now, this, the three, I know the weight on that is just under three pounds, maybe right around three pounds with the poles, uh, with the fly, with the tent. In the two, you're gonna save a few ounces. And so just depending on who's going, if it's me, I always take the two. Again, it's the Seed House by Big Agnes. Um, and it's a super light. If I have a friend going, a buddy going, a partner going, then it is a two or a three that I'm taking. If it's me, I take the two. Again, this is what I'm packing, and I'm going to take a minute and just throw everything in it and let you take a look at the full pack. Again, this is three to four or five days. It's 35 pounds is what I'm packing with camera gear, batteries, a solar panel, and three to four days worth of food. If I'm going to go into five days, I'm always adding that two pounds per day for food. Again, this is Trent with 3T Outdoors. Thanks.